Hi everyone, I am Lestari Kiki Reski, a graduate student from the Materials Science and Engineering Department. In the Clean Energy and Technology class with Professor Zhang, I will present an article. Shuanella secretes flavins that mediate extracellular electron transfer, written by Enrico Marsili and friends. In this article, there are several topics which include the introduction, which will be the purpose of this research, then proceed with the materials and methods used in this article, then continue with the discussion of the results, and do not forget the conclusions of this research, and from this article, there will be three quiz questions. Introduction, more recently, Shuanella has gained attention as the transfer of electrons from the cell surface to conductive materials can be used in multiple applications. Electrons require discrete pathways to traverse a distance of 0.01 meter, but bacteria such as Schuonella show the ability to transfer electrons to metals located 50 meters from the cell surface. Previous research could not detect compounds to explain observations or distinguish between a model in which Schuonella produces molecules to chelate ferrous iron to facilitate its return to cells. The theory that this substance is an intermediate quin-1 by a synthesis released by lysed cells rather than an intentionally secreted transport was supported by subsequent studies. The purpose of the research in this article, researchers attempt to exploit the ability of Schuonella to grow as a biofilm on electrodes, using the electrode as an electron acceptor for respiration, to demonstrate that the transfer of electrons by these two Schuonella strains to the surface is mediated by flavin which is actively secreted by cells. This combined property explains the ability of many Schuonella to be isolated. Materials and method, S. Onidensis strain MR4 was cultured in a minimal salt medium with 10 mm HEPs. The medium was adjusted to pH 7, sprayed with oxygen-free nitrogen, sealed with a bittle plug and aluminum seal, and autoclaved. This cell-free medium was returned to an anaerobic sealed tube. After the media was removed, 3 milliliters of fresh medium was added to the chamber, then discharged into the rinse chamber. 10 milliliters of fresh medium with 20 millimeters of lactate were then added. Materials and method, the counter PT electrode wire is inserted into a glass capillary and soldered to the copper wire. The electrode assembly is carried out according to the picture shown. The resistance of each electrode assembly was under 0.5 ohm. A calomel reference electrode was placed in this layer and coated with sodium sulfate. Results and discussion, evidence for a redox mediator involved in electron transfer, in figure 1, the oxidation current of both types of Schuonella was reduced by an average of 73%, 4.5%, and equal to 6 upon replacement with new media. The current was immediately restored to 94% of its initial level, 6.1%, and equal to 6 after the medium was removed, centrifuged to remove planktonic cells, and then returned to the chamber containing the biofilm with electrodes attached. Figure 1a shows an example of a typical medium replacement experiment for Mr. 4. The attached cells produced a soluble redox mediator capable of increasing the electron transfer rate to the electrode, as evidenced by repeated cycles of media replacement, a recent decrease of 70%, and slow recovery. To investigate this hypothesis further, cell-free media from the electrode reactor were placed in sterile electrochemical cells containing identical glass carbon electrodes and analyzed using linear sweep cyclic voltammetry. In fresh media, no peaks were visible. In figure 1b, cell-free media from electrode-mounted cultures demonstrated maximum absorption at 450 nanometers and maximum fluorescence emission at 525 nanometers, consistent with flavin. Reverse phase liquid chromatography coupled with secondary analysis detected a new constituent with a mass-to-charge ratio of 377.2 in the supernatant of a 96R biofilm, which is identical to protonated riboflavin. Results and discussion, evidence for a redox mediator involved in electron transfer, when riboflavin was added to sterile electrodes and growth medium, peak height and potential were identical to those observed with the culture supernatant. 
No riboflavin 5-phosphate produced a peak centered 3 mV more negative than riboflavin, indicating that these flavins are indistinguishable, especially where small pH changes can lead to potential changes. When slow scanning speed was performed on Schuonella Mr. 1 and Mr. 4 cultures attached to oxidizing lactate electrodes. An oxidation current with identical set potentials for electron transfer was observed, as shown in figure 2a. When the medium was replaced with fresh media lacking lactate and incubated for 12 hours to deplete the remaining electron donors, the oxidation current dropped to the background level. These conditions are designed to detect redox species at slow scanning speeds without interference from the current resulting from lactate oxidation. In this experiment, an anodic peak oxidation was detected. Centered at 0.2 volts seen in figure 2b. These observations are consistent with the peaks observed when sterile electrodes are incubated with riboflavin. Results and discussion Evidence for bound riboflavin at the electrode surface, an observation with implications in these and many other experiments, is that riboflavin exhibits an affinity for carbon electrode surfaces and biofilms. To explore binding further, sterile carbon electrodes were incubated with riboflavin, and the electrodes were scanned repeatedly with time via differential pulse voltammetry, shown in Figure 3. When scanning from negative to a positive potential, a peak centered at 0. 208 volt was detected within 15 minutes. Minutes and this peak height reaches its maximum in 60 minutes. When these electrodes were placed in a riboflavin-free support electrolyte, the peak height at 0.208V decreased by 50% over 24 hours. No riboflavin 5 phosphates also exhibited rapid adsorption and binding to electrodes in DPV analysis. Results and discussion, evidence for bound riboflavin at the electrode surface, the potential difference between the oxidation and reduction peaks was slight at the slow scan rate when sterile electrodes were exposed to riboflavin and analyzed by cyclic voltammetry at an increased scanning rate. The peak possible shifts with increasing scanning rate and peak separation increases, as seen in figure 4a characteristic of the adsorbed redox species. Moreover, the peak height increased as a linear function of the scan rate in R square equal to 0. 999, as figure 4b shows, another indication of the adsorbed redox species. Based on the peak height in the cyclic voltammetry data, the amount of riboflavin adsorbed onto the electrode was estimated at 0.2 nanomolar per centimeter square indicating that as much as 8% of riboflavin in the reactor could be adsorbed. Results and discussion, evidence for bound riboflavin at the electrode surface, using Schuonella colonized electrodes, similar results were obtained. As shown in Figure 5a, during the initial stages of biofilm growth, the differential pulse voltammetry scan from negative to positive potential revealed a peak centered at 0.2 volt that grew in height over increasing culture age. Older biofilms differential pulse voltammetry voltammograms, as well as substrate limiting cyclic voltammetry experiments, also showed higher potential peaks that might be secondary compounds with lower concentrations. The primary electron transfer process is observed in the 0.25 to 0 volt range but this peak potential is too high, about 0.1 volt, to be involved. The peak height in the differential pulse voltammetry analysis dropped by at least 70% when the young biofilm's three days old surrounding medium was replaced with fresh medium, as shown in figure 5b. This suggests that many of the flavins detected by the differential pulse voltammetry could be eliminated. This result is in line with the notable reduction in oxidation current 75% in young biofilms shown in figure 1a. Exchange with fresh medium only reduced the peak differential pulse voltammetry height by 30% in less immature biofilms in six days, though. In line with these observations, a lesser degree of 50 to 60% of the oxidation current reduction was observed when the fresh medium was added to older biofilms.
Results and discussion, implications of flavin secretion, shuttling, and binding. Flavins likely contributed to the reduction of iron oxide in previous studies due to their light sensitivity, effectiveness only at nanomolar concentrations, and yellow coloration only when oxidized and present at one mole. In the exponential, biofilm, and planktonic growth phases of Schuonella species other than MR1 and MR4, we saw flavin production, demonstrating that flavins are always present at some concentrations. Peaks for instance, are visible on the Schuonella mediator-free voltammogram. As shown in Table 2, we also observed riboflavin binding to the surfaces of iron and mangan oxides, commonly used as substrates for these organisms. Additionally, no riboflavin 5-phosphate and riboflavin will bind to smectite in the form of clay, creating a particular one-by-one -one interaction with the iron in the clay. These interactions might boost recycling, change the surface's reactivity, or produce gradients allowing Schuonella to detect its proximity to the electron acceptor. Results and discussion, implications of flavin secretion, shuttling, and binding, all of these observations point to extracellular respiration in Schuonella being more complex than thought. The majority of iron oxides and the soluble form of iron shown in Figure 6 can be reduced by flavin, which has a midpoint potential between 0.2 and 0.25 volt, and a natural avidity for many metals. Flavins are appropriate for single electron and two electron reactions, because the difference between the midpoint potentials of one state semiquinones and hydroquinones is only 0. 0.06 volt for interacting with cytochromes and metals that require one or two electrons for reduction. The local iron concentration can be raised by the iron chelation method described in Figure 6 Step 2. The complex can either take up to three electrons upon returning to the cell or serve as food, in addition, the molecular gradient and the redox active metal, being more oxidized near the metal surface, can guide the cell to the vantage point. Conclusion these electrochemical and analytical findings suggest that Schuonella biofilms use secreted flavins to transfer electrons to external acceptors, and that many surfaces relevant to the environment exposed to Schuonella are coated with electroactive flavins, which may influence interactions with bacterial surface proteins. Flavin electron transfer, metal chelation, and surface binding may improve the respiration and metal oxide dissolving phenotypes of these organisms in metal containing environments. Many activities catalyzed by Schuonella and other microorganisms that secrete electroactive compounds should be reconsidered in light of this complex and ecologically significant behavior. Quiz 1 How did a compound with such a powerful influence on surface reduction by Schuonella species go undetected? 2. Why did the two Schuonella strains experience a decrease in the oxidation current after changing the fresh medium around the biofilm-coated electrode? 3. What is the function of flavin in electron transfer by two strains of Schuonella? Question from Mahasin. Schuonella secretes flavin and isoflavin. Flavin is found in supernatant, and isoflavin is found in biofilm on the anode surface. Which molecule is responsible for electron transfer from solution to anode? The answer from the article is, researchers investigated intact biofilms of Schuonella onidensis MR1 and Schuonella SPM R4 to detect redox active molecules in biofilms, which are involved in electron transfer to electrodes. Then it was identified a mixture of riboflavin and riboflavin 5-phosphate as a type of flavin in the supernatant of the biofilm reactor and it was seen that riboflavin represented the dominant component during continuous incubation of more than 72 hours, because riboflavin has a role as a dissolved redox shuttle that carries electrons from the surface. Cells to external acceptors. So the position for electron transfer is riboflavin, a type of flavin. Thank you for your attention. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming in this class, the Korean Energy and Technology. And thank you so much for your support to give me many times to learn again about this paper. And thank you so much for your attention. And I'm so sorry if many mistakes that I make 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's, it's, it was a very nice presentation. Okay, so have a good evening.